Good day, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mom, Mom and Son, Son Podcast. Podcast. This is your host, Fresh Fausto, back. Yes, and this is a Don Fausto's son. So you haven't heard her voice for the past two weeks because she really, uh, she was on a two-week hiatus. And we're going to be talking about that today, the challenges, how she thought of doing that in the first place, and how it was because I think it's something that people can relate to. People could and probably they should do depending on yeah. whatever their industry is. Mm-hmm. Okay, so before that, ha- let's talk, let's, ano muna, let's backtrack, let's... Um, go to why you wanted to do that in the first place and okay. where did you get the idea from? Alright, so um, FQ Book 1 was released in 2018. The original plan was really to release it at least siguro in the following year or after two years at the latest. no? And then, um, you know, writing a book really requires a lot of discipline but Sometimes, para bang if you're busy with other things, it get pushed on to the yeah. side. I, alam mo yung even if it is important, it doesn't Seem look urgent. urgent. And you and you're the boss, eh? Parang oh, there's hi. no one else you're answering to, <laughs> and there's no deadline, masyado, mm. for you to be forced to work. Kaya yun, it's always it's kind of in the limbo lang, no, for the past Correct. years. And then what happened was that I would get some messages asking me. Where can I buy? <laughs> Where can I buy FQ Akala book to? Allah, o kaya, when will it be out? I am excited. So para bang habi ko, oh, teka nga, no? And when the ECQ was proclaimed, sabi ko, ayan na, I will have, di ba, syempre, I was able to save a lot of time from Traffic. not traveling, oh. tapos yung mga gimmicks sa labas. Oh. So akala ko, there will be a marked improvement in my progress. Kagad. Oo, in completing the the chapters. But then when I check from March 15, tapos magi end na yung May noon, sabi ko parang ganun pa rin yung speed. So it was really the same, parang walang yeah, significant Yeah, walang pagbabago. Okay. So alam mo yung sinasabi nila na if you expect a change and continue to do the same thing, that's stupidity. Uh, so yeah, I don't yeah. want to be stupid. <laughs> so sabi ko, some something's really got to change. Quite drastically. Had to be drastic. Oh, uh, so that's when I thought, what if I take a break muna? Kasi, you know, Anton, I've been writing articles every single week. How many years For now? the last, oh my God. Kasi, siguro mga 2011 or 2012 pa. Wow, almost a decade. Yeah, alam mo kahit na when di ba, when we're out on a vacation, I would still write. Yeah. I or would send it. Or may mga parang nasugat ka na. Oo, alam mo, isang beses lang, either the death of Lolo or Lola. Isa up. lang. Mm. Isa lang, ha? I, I don't know which one. Pero sabi ko, para bang kasi, if you go, para ka nasa treadmill that you have to get off that one first. Mm-hmm. Para, so that's what I decided to do. And Siyempre, I wanted knowing about behavioral economics at our wiring is that uh, it's so easy to do the right thing if it's in the future. But if it's there na, hirap na hirap tayo, mm-hmm. whatever is masarap at the moment. That's ATM, what you want to do. N-O-W, now, yun yung mas gusto natin gawin. So I also designed something. So, so what was the timeline? when? So mm. we started the lockdown mid-March, tapos... We started the lockdown mga mid-March and then by what month, what day were you thinking na, okay, maybe I should do something drastically different? Or was it something na from the first day pa lang, you were kind of assuming you had to do something drastic? Siguro it was at the back of my mind that something has to change. Pero sig- before the last week of May, I thought of doing it na. Before the last week of May. Was oh. there one significant instance or did you read one specific article that really parang struck a chord and made you really, okay, ito na talaga, I have to do something. Parang dumami ulit kasi yung follow-up ng mga, when is it coming mm, okay. out? So, parang so sabi it's, ko, it's oh mga God, ano ba naman readers yan? looking for it. Oo, oh, oh. okay. so sabi ko, oh, game na, game na. So, that's what I did. I tried to design something, yung schedule ko, yung OANS ko nga, di ba? Even for lunch, I didn't join you. Yeah. So, it's two weeks. Mm-mm, two straight weeks talaga. Pero Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday. Uh-oh. Yung Saturday, Sunday, break. Break naman yun. Yeah, but I still didn't uh, open my emails, ah, Facebook, okay. Instagram, WhatsApp, Viber. So, libo-libo na yung Viber message Uh-oh. ko. Um, 
Kasi, I really observed myself then prior to that. Diba? Especially my work, my platform is really social media eh. Yeah. So, I can say I'm working. Totoo naman. Yeah, diba? I, I, I follow the, I have the, 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 the same s- challenges same, diba? also. But when you look at your Facebook, hello, ma-delineate mo ba? Magha-highlight ba? Work only Facebook? Hindi. Mm-hmm. Probably 70% of that isn't work <laughs> na eh. What you're, what you're seeing. Or oh, even more. Oh, oh. Eh, eh, nandun na eh. Eh, di syempre, present bias na naman. Mapaklik-klik mo na naman Uh-oh. lahat yan. So what I did, and also because I've been reading then, ah, siguro, ewan ko ano ba na una. Uh, I really knew na kailangan may mga nangyayari in the early in the morning so that I can have a productive day. So yon, I I made a schedule so I would wake up before 6 mm-hmm. and then the first thing is exercise. I I've been doing that naman eh. Kaya lang medyo minove up ko lang, minove up. Ko. Uh-huh. So 6 to 6:30 exercise and then 6:30 to 7 sometimes a little bit shorter mag meditate uh? oh, okay. <laughs> so finally i've been wanting to meditate but i've always been very it's para- intimidating din eh. yeah i'm intimidated i feel insecure kasi when i try to do it para bang ah, hindi kaya my mind is so malikot ganyan ganyan uh-huh. but you know pwede kaya pala it was with the help of this app called headspace headspace yeah yes, i've heard of that it's very nice uh, highly recommended I think, <laughs> I, I think it could be related to how we teach, well, how you teach finance, that it could be intimidating, but then there is a simple yeah. way to understand it. And I think that's why Headspace really Mm-mm. resonated with you. But then before we get into the meat pa of your schedule and what happened okay. in the two-week hiatus, I want to go back to the point where uh, when I asked what sort of quote-unquote triggered you, because mm. when it comes to different industries, different people, when mm-hmm. they have to make a big life change, do they need to find those external factors that are going to say, now is the time? Because, for example, you had a bunch of readers saying, asking for the book. So, agam mo in the back of your head na, ah, okay, so, hindi naman, it's not for nothing. Like, when I do complete this, if I do get to complete this two-week hiatus, etc., there's going to be someone waiting on the other side. Because mm-hmm. lots of times, when we make these big life changes, well, it didn't have a big life change in two weeks <laughs> on social media. But any big, it's a big thing in your career because it's another book. It's going to be, oh, oh. Like it's, it's permanently going to be in your uh, resume. When it comes to making those big life decisions, do you think that people need to have that? I'm curious. Lang, do people need to have those external factors that are going to sort of say na, ah, okay, sige, if you do this, there's going to be something waiting naman for you on the other side? Yes, you need external factors and internal factors. So, pareho yon. And most of the time, based on my experience, is intention is not enough. So, I've, I've been intending for that yeah. to do, diba. And so, I had to help myself. It was helped by those external factors. And I also had to help myself make it operate. I mean, op- per- I had to operationalize it. Did you say it. one is stronger than the other? The internal motivation or the external motivation? Um, in this case, parang they influence each other. Eh. Kasi mm-hmm. I also got tired of myself na parang I would always come up with a new schedule na naman, oh, I should be able to finish this by February, March, April. Parang nakakainis. Yes. So parang I really had to go down to the details of it on how I would be able to really finish the draft. Okay. So yun na. So that's the schedule na. So yun nga, uh, it will go back na to the schedule. Yeah. No? So there's so meditation. Seven, kakatapos mo ng meditation. Mm. So, so exercise, meditation, tapos yung parang self-improvement. Okay. So I would read a book. You know, it's very interesting ha? because this hiatus, you know how many books I was able to read? How many? Ako, I was surprised. Two printed books. From na medyo, cover to cover? Yes. Oh wow. And two audio books. Four books? <laughs> Yeah. In two weeks. Yes. Wow, okay. It's amazing, right? Para mas marami kang time. Oh, kasi didig babasa ako in the morning, mm-hmm. may thirty minutes on, and then breakfast at seven thirty together with Papa. Seven thirty na. Oh, okay. wait, wait. Pero alam mo yung first first balay. I forgot to tell you. I would really pray. So pray mo na. Pero hindi naman thirty minutes kasi yun eh. Uh-huh. So that's pray and then exercise, exercise meditate, self improve. Self improvement. Hindi ka nagugutom by that time. 
Hindi pa. Siyempre, uh, kalamansi shot pala. Uh, no? That was the first also. Kasi okay. it has to be taken and before breakfast. 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 And then, um, we give ourselves a rather medyo mahabang oras to do our bathroom rituals. Okay. So, that one also sometimes includes reading. Pero, no social media. So, may pwedeng may Bible, yeah. may tutuloy ko yung librong binabasa ko. And it's not the, ano, it's not that you're gonna waste time. I think the more important thing is not na, oh, I'm gonna lose five minutes of my schedule if I go into social media. It's, I think it's more of the, this, you know, this destroying is a strong word eh, but then may rupture sa, sa momentum. Uh-oh. Like, if you get that social media in, parang that will be, Imagine you read something na nakakainis, some coronavirus update, whatever. That could, I can imagine, that could plant a seed in your exactly. head. Exactly. And then later, even if you just spent five minutes, look, as in, um, innocently, just uh-uh. looking through social media, there could be something that's gonna disrupt you for the rest of the day. So it's not just, uh, no, it's not just the concrete five minutes. It's really the the effects of each tiny action exactly that you do. which okay. is is a lot lot more than the 5 minutes that yeah. you allowed yourself to be distracted so correct so before 9 o'clock i am ready on my writing desk okay. so i occupy the space away yeah. from the work Place and and mala- mahina yung wifi doon eh. Oo, oh, mahina helps. yung wifi <laughs> doon. So, ba, ano ka lang, talagang writing, writing ka lang. And then, I divided my deep work mm-hmm. into one and, I sorry, into one and a half hours. Uh, okay. That's the period, one and, a, one and a half hours. I also experimented on this, ano, kasi yung iba, kaya lang nila 45 minutes. Okay, let's, let's, let's define ano muna, deep work. Deep work. Yung talagang tutok ka lang. Okay, no distractions. No, no... distractions. Hayaan mo lang yung sarili mo. Tumatayo ka ba? In the I'm, I'm using my standy, which was given to me. So you're standing me. up the whole time? Um, Actually, that's what happened. I'm standing the entire one and a half hours. Wow! Oo, pero kumisan, pag medyo sumasakit yung paa ko, ano, iuupo-upo ko. Kumisan uh, nga, ihiga ko pa on the spa bed. Mm-hmm. So it's so nice. Para akong nasa wonderland. Para akong nasa writing wonderland. Yeah. So, in, in chunks of uh, one and a half hours, just may 15-minute break ako. I go to the bathroom, I drink. Uh, sometimes, meron time noon na nagpapatugtog ako ng dance music para ako sira. Mag-isa-kuyag siya. Mag-isa ako sumasaya. Just to get the blood flowing. Oo. Tapos, kung medyo nahihirapan ako, bawa I get stuck in a chapter, mag-meditate ulit ako. Kasi may mga mm. five-minute meditation din doon. In the app. Oo. <laughs> Ang bongga talaga niya. You have to check that out. So, Pagka ganun, babalik na ulit ako ng 10.30. Mm-hmm. So, 10.45, ganyan na. So, you have two deep work. What do you four. Say? Four. Ah, no, no, sorry, in, in the morning. morning, yes. Two. two. What do you call it? Two deep work sets? sessions? Sessions. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, it's lunch. Yes. That you have by yourself. Yes. There. So, what do you do during pa ako. lunch? Ah, okay. So, during lunch. Kasi I'm guessing you still, you kind of need a break. Oh, oh. So, so syempre, hindi ko kayo kausap, ano. Um, nanonood ako ng, or nakikinig, it's more of nakikinig ako ng podcast ni mm-hmm. Marie Forleo okay. or ni Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> okay. So, Mga would ganun. you say na in your break, for anybody trying something like this, if you take a lunch break, does it have to be related? Parang, is there a, would you have, you personally, lang, mm-hmm. your guidelines, does it have to be related to what you're writing about? The, should, should it be really different from what you're writing about so that you can really have a break? Both. Sometimes, um, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Sometimes, kung ano yung mood mo. So, for example, okay. I, I ended with this chapter on, kunyari, uh, sunk cost fallacy. So, sometimes, parang, ay, meron akong gustong pakinggan about that. Mm-hmm. Pwede kong i-search. Pero, I want it to be a bit lighter. So, di ba parang summer break yan eh. Hindi masyadong serious dapat. Mm-mm. Tapos, kung minsan naman, ah, gusto ko ano lang, music lang. Mga ganon. How do you search it? You, you just like go to YouTube. I go to and, Spotify. Okay. You don't, but you never open I don't like any social as, media. As much as possible, app. mas maganda yung auditory lang. Ang audible lang. Mm-hmm. Ang pakpakinggan mo. Sometimes, I continue the audible that I'm reading. Okay. Audible that I'm reading. Audible that I'm listening Very to. Very here, it's more of like, there's no rule now when it comes to lunch. Masyado na. I'm supposed to... I get to take a nap pa nga kung minsan mm, okay. eh. Okay. Walang, walang specific parang it has to be this type of topic. Hindi, hindi. Yung... Wala. Depende sa mood mo. Because you're still consuming media during your lunch break. Yeah, but but it's another kind. So, hindi siya... Okay. Alam mo kasi yung... Iba kasi yung dating ng mga post sa Facebook, sa Instagram. Iba yung dating eh. 
Mm-hmm. But ito kasi, like, I would search sa Spotify. Oh, ganito. Yung topic lang na gusto mo. Okay. So, so that's what happened. And I was gonna say something about that. Eh. Ah, sometimes I get to sleep pa nga eh. Mm-mm. And this is what I did. Yung phone ko, I was able to use the alarm. You know, oh my gosh. Ngayon ko lang na-discover how to change the alarm tone. The sound? Oh my gosh. I've <laughs> been... said it. I know. I've been annoyed by the tone. <laughs> Oh, oh. Y- yun panggising ko. Pero para bang I tried eh. I tried to rationalize it na lang na ah, para maggumising ako. But then with this na ang dami kong alarm cuts, it had to be really soft. Eh at that time hindi ko pa na uuwi si Alexa. Eh. Okay. In the office kasi with use Alexa. So meron ma akong mga time na talagang kring kring ginaganoon ako Do and you then make nakasulat. It yes. So, nakasulat, tsaka nakasulat doon sa okay. phone ko so, kung ano what, na yung activity. What were those things? What are those activities? Yun nga, yung, di ba yung kanina, yung meditate. Ah, ah so there's an alarm for every ano. Yes. Tapos na yung deep work. So, my day Tapos is... Tapos na yung break. Alam mo, para kang naka-trainer. Para kang nasa school, na may schedule. Yeah, para kang kumbaga sa, ano, workout, may trainer ka the whole day. Mm-mm. So, para bang yung ending ko pa nga. But it doesn't necessarily mean the whole time you're just working. Ah, uh, Yes. Kasi nga, built-in na yung breaks. Mm. The meditation, oh, the prayer. That's a new way to look at, that's a new Ang ganda, pers- so... ano perspective on schedules. Yes. On how it can be used. And I think the most important part is it can be, it should be customized. Yes. To, for you, the type of person you are and the goal that you're trying to achieve at that yeah. time. And you know, within the two weeks, sometimes na pakita sa akin, yung if you're not observing your your schedule. Kasi sometimes naka-in the heat ako, no? Eh, kunyari, 10.30, nag, nag-break, ano siya. Eh, sayang-sayang yung momentum ko. Tinuloy-tuloy ko. Tapos, lala, umaabot na pala malapit na mag-lunch. Grabe, sumakit yung likod ko. Wow. So, parang I learned my lesson right away na, up up next time, di na. Parang, so, you you pa, you really have a high regard on the schedule and you really respect yeah. it. Yes, yes. So, would you suggest na okay lang yun? Na, let's, you, kasi that happens eh, na you're in the heat of it. Parang yung momentum, Mm-mm. how do you... And then, and then ano, you're, you're in the middle of it. You're writing very passionately. Gonna test, boom, alarm. Mm-mm. So How do you deal with that? So, pagka konti lang, ituloy mo na. No? Pero pagka yung sobrang anlayo mo pa, isulat mo na lang yung reminders mo. So, mm, okay. you will not lose the thought. Parang, oh, okay. Yung summary of what your inspiration <laughs> and momentum oh, oh. is Kasi saying at the moment. may pagod factor din eh. Tapos okay. kung minsan parang maiinis ako, ah, tapos mag, mag ano na siya, didikit na siya dun sa next. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, maybe it's also the way I'm wired na, okay. and also my mindset at that time was I wanted to be systematic okay. about this. So, yun, and it was very helpful. And one more tip pala. So, di ba, usually, what's o- go look at your cell phone. What's on the first page of your phone? Andun na ba si Facebook, si Instagram? Ah, uh-huh. Na, yung, nandun na yung folder ng social media They are together? Stuff, yeah. Oh, at least sa'yo, meron ka pang isang click before yeah, pero you Pero I, I, I mindlessly open that na kagad eh. Like, Yun. Hindi siya that's decision. What, that's what, uh, one of the, that was one of the design factors that I considered. Kasi my, my email was really there. Sobrang dali. Email, Facebook, katabi yan ha? Instagram. So, each time you turn on your phone, it's so, alam mo yung parang may magnet na sa thumb mo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Gaganonin mo na lang. Ah, ganun na. Si Viber. So, what I did, I put them all together in one folder and then moved moved it to the back, back, back. So many pages So, you pa. don't uh, oh, oh. open it. So, oh. now I'm, um, I'm planning to just keep it there so that I'll be able to observe a scheduled checking of all those channels. Mm. So I don't so you're, know you're yet. Keeping one, it. two, three times a day. Lang you're kind of keeping that that format, at least with your phone. Yes. Okay, I'm, not, the, uh, I'm not going to be out of the grid, but I will be there a few minutes lang a day. Yeah. And, uh, I think just that's the healthy amount two times a day. Amount okay, mm-hmm. so now going back to the schedule. Afternoon, when do you end the lunch break? Um, I start again at 2 p.m. Okay, and then you have two more yes. deep work, deep work uh, sessions. So you're gonna finish at five. 5:15? Uh, five fifteen, but 
sometimes nag in in extra ko siya pero ulit doon meron nakalagay ano finished and finished task nakalagay siya doon sa 5:15 pero 6 o'clock meron ulit akong alarm end the day now <laughs> uh, no matter what oo kasi masakit na sa ulo <laughs> okay you have to give yourself and uh, after that 6 yun na uh, tapos ka na yeah so there are times there were times that i had finished at 5:15 tapos yung iba 6 and you still never open social media? Never. Wow. Never. Here ever. Na. Yeah, mahirap. Pero masarap. Mm-mm. Alam mo, yung bago nga ako dyan eh. Um, diba sabi nila, FOMO, fear of missing, missing out. out. Ito, FOMO ako. Freedom of missing out. Ah, wow, saya. It's so liberating. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> yung some people nga then I can imagine would feel sort of forced na, oh, they have to open it. Parang they're missing something if they don't look at it now. There might mm. have been something that happened in the past. 30 seconds. <laughs> well, <laughs> fine, okay, so now that you finished the two-week hiatus, what were your biggest takeaways? What are your biggest learnings from that? Okay. Can I start with my biggest achievement? Mm-hmm. I actually didn't expect to finish the entire book. Sabi ko lang, I, I wanted the momentum back so that when I come back on June 15, para bang hahanapin na ng katawang ko na magsusulat ulit ako Mm-mm. ng every, every day, happened, every other day. Hinahanap mo na ba ngayon? Medyo kanina, but the good news is, I finished yes. all the chapters! Woo! Congratulations! Yeah, talaga. So, so I was so, so happy. And you know what? Diba, June 12 was a holiday. Mm-hmm. I was able to finish it on June 11. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, sakto din yung two weeks. No, not even. like It's less. More, more than enough diba? time. So, Oh my gosh. So you made your last book, FQD and Intelligence, came out in 2018. July 2018. 2018. Was the inauguration. Yeah. Now it's 2020. You finished writing it, but I'm guessing there's still going to be there's some. There's a lot, pa. Kasi, there's still some edits to do. Yeah, and, yeah. Writing is good rewriting. And of course, I love to talk to the publisher. Paano na yan. But do you already have a sort of pencil date, at least like a month, mm. when you want to release it? Is it going to be in 2020? I really wanted to push through in 2020. Mm-mm. But we'll see. Yes. Wow, yeah, okay. it's exciting. Do you have any other, besides the, um, the, the one you talked about earlier, are there other biggest, b- besides the biggest achievement, paga, mm. what other learnings did you pick up from that two-week experience na, na I think, and you think also, na could be applied to other things? Well, uh, one of my biggest learnings is that Meditation is not that hard to do. Mm-hmm. You just get intimidated. It's so FQ, you know? You just get intimidated at the start. But with the proper guidance, that guidance kasi is so simple. E, e, kaya natutuwa ako kasi diba that's how we try to teach FQ. Yeah. So we simplify it. We take out the intimidation and the boredom. Ganon din sila. Ang cute-cute pa nung mga animation nila. Mm. It's in the manner yes. and in the tone of how it's done. And it is so, so effective. Everybody needs, oh, eto na ako, everybody, di ba? I would always say, everybody needs to have a high, high FQ. FQ. Ngayon, everybody also needs to learn meditate. how to meditate. Because you are really, um, para bang tapping into your very core and it is, you will be able to produce creatively when you do that. And when you're able to do that on a regular basis, all the more creativity you can come up with. When you were talking about meditation, um, FQ, financial literacy, about those those two things and how it's complex and intimidating, but then we try to do it in a simple way. We try to, you know, it's not that scary. Pala. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's the same now with dancing. Eh? Lots yeah. of people are thinking that Hindi, that's not for me, dancing's not for me, Hindi ako marunong. There are some people who are initially better than others, but I really believe that everybody can dance again you just need a simple way a simple instructor you know a simple mm-hmm. way to mm-hmm. learn how to do it there is music and i really always go back to how it's natural and the people are naturally born as dancers when you hear I, music I that is the you. natural reaction oh. to it so that's dfe dancing for everyone, dancing for everyone. <laughs> okay now last point for this episode now that you've well, you pretty much completed the book, although you know, it's still going to go through some polishing, editing. What can the listeners sort of expect? What sneak peek can you give um, for the first time here on the Moments and Podcast? Oh, yeah. So if you already have a copy of FQ Book 1, FQ The Nth Intelligence, it already mentions there what 
books two and three are about. So book two is actually entitled Why Financial Education Alone Does Not Work. And there's Ooh. a subtitle uh, that says includes a crash course on behavioral economics. So it's quite exciting. It's very exciting actually for me because it now talks about human behavior, the wiring, kung paano ba yung mga convolution ng brain natin such that there we we do what we do, diba? there is a knowledge behavior gap. Mm -hmm. We will be discussing that and I promise you it's gonna be fun. Yes, so while the book is not out yet, make sure you already take the time to read book one because yeah. I'm guessing you, you like reading book one before book two gives you a better appreciation yes. and understanding of the context of what your book is going to be about. Correct. All right, so congratulations again. Oh, I must also congratulate you, Anton. Why? The last two episodes, when oh. I listened to them, they were such fun discussions with your dance uh, yeah, colleagues. Shout Galen. out to Galen. Pam, to Pia, and to Dot. You guys can check out those past episodes. They were the episodes right before this one. Yeah, thanks, Here girls, for podcast. guesting on our show. Mm, all right, so again, congratulations on the on the successful. Um, hiatus and yes. we are all looking forward to the publishing of the book and, and may I invite people to try to do something like that if you cannot afford two weeks one week or just even one day siguro mm -mm. You, you, when you quiet yourself there's really going to be a lot of benefits coming out of it yeah. and ikaw naman yung panalo sa end eh. oh sarap so thank you again, everybody, for listening to another episode of Mom, mom and Son, Son Podcast. This has been Rose Press Fausto, the mom also known as FQ Mom. And Anton Fausto, the son. Bye, guys. Bye. See you again next week. The Mom and Son Podcast comes out every Tuesday, 7 a.m. and can be streamed on Spotify, YouTube, Buzzsprout.com, Apple iTunes, and Google Podcasts. Join us every week for your weekly dose of family, finance, passions, and everything in between. We want to know what you think. Email us at antonfausto at gmail.com and join the conversation. Thank you.